So not too long ago, I made a video where I attempted to, you know, test a bunch of fans to find out if a knock to a fan is really anything special or if a fan is just a fan. And a lot of people uh, were upset with that video. I mean, it did get a lot of mixed reviews. Some said it was good, some said it was bad. The thumbs up, thumbs down were pretty 50-50. Pretty and I think the problem was is there's a lot of personal opinion in that video. However, another person or company saw that video and that was knock to it and they sent me an email saying they would like to challenge my opinion that a fan was just a fan by sending me over another fan. So they sent over this. This is the Noctua NF A12 X25 fan and this is supposedly Noctua's latest and greatest and this is going to prove once and for all that a fan is not just a fan. Engineering matters. And I will say that even though they sent me this fan they in no way said that I have to say anything nice about it. So I do think uh, it's pretty ballsy on Noctua's part by sending somebody like myself a fan like this in hopes that it's going to change my opinion because uh, it's, it's pretty clear that I'm already not a fan of Noctua's color scheme. But that's not here nor there. there this is going to be, you know, we're not going to test this one because that one's not a PWM. But in this round of testing we're going to try to do our best to keep all personal opinions out of it. Strictly just go with what the data says to find out if this fan is actually better than all these other fans. So let's discuss how we're gonna test these fans. So one of the big complaints last time is that I let all the fans run at their max RPM and then we tested how well they cooled and that could skew the result because some obviously the faster a fan moves, the more air it's gonna move, yada, yada, yada. So this time we're gonna try to set everything on a level playing field by setting all the fans to an equal RPM. So we're gonna, we have to figure out what RPM they can all share. And to do that, we're gonna use this. This is a laser dig digital you know, tachometer and to use it, I'm basically gonna have to put a piece of reflective tape on each of the hubs of the fan and then using this fan controller, we're going to tune it until we can get all the fans to line up at a similar RPM or the same RPM. And then we're going to test it on the 212 EVO to see how well they each cool. And we're also going to listen though, because um, one of the big points of this fan is that it's very quiet. So we want to listen to how all the fans, how they perform. And I know that not every sound is annoying to everyone. There's some sounds that are annoying and some sounds that aren't. You know how it works, but we're going to have to measure the decibel somehow. So we're going to do the same as before. We're going to take a list of all the fans. We're also going to measure the sound increase over ambient just to get a metric. And then, you know, we'll let all the fans also try to cool the 212 Evo at the same overclock at their max RPMs. See how that sounds and see how that performs. But the idea is to keep everything equal and unbiased and see who does the best. So let's first figure out what all their RPMs are. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now, won't you meet? So I just got done figuring out what RPM we should set all these fans to and I did forget that this is not a PWM fan and I was going to chuck it out of the testing 
But then I decided that since its max RPM is 1250, that's gonna be the set point for all the fans because Noctua does sell this fan in an ultra low noise version with the max RPM of 1200 RPM. And I think that that's a good set point for anybody that would like want their PC to be running extra silent. You would set your fans up to never go above a certain threshold and around 1250, I think it's a good marker for a silent PC build. So we're gonna test all these fans at 1250 and see how they sound and how they perform. So another thing I did notice though, while I was sitting and finding out all the RPMs is these two fans. So like the, the one that comes stock on the cooler, the I think it's like similar to like a Blade, a Cooler Master Blade Master 120, and the Noctua NFA12 X25 have about the same, if not the exact same max RPM. So this is 2000 and I do believe this one measured exactly around 2000 as well. So they're both max RPMs is 2000 and they sound so much different. So let's just take a peek together. So here's the Blade Master 120 that comes stock on the 212 Evo, and this is its max setting. You should be able to hear that pretty well over the mic. Just, just take a listen to what this sounds like at 2000 RPM. It's pretty high pitched and it's pretty whiny. It's kind of annoying. So this is the NF-A12 X25, same RPM. So I just thought this was fascinating. Now you can hear it obviously, but it's not as loud. It's not even close to as loud. And it's not as annoying because this fan has, um, I don't know what I would describe. It sounds like, it's kind of like the sound of, it's ripping through the air. Well, this is this does not sound like that. Just a nice gentle hum. Let's start with this one just because, it's by, just by listening to it, I can tell it's already the loudest. So we'll get it set to 1250. So here's 1250 RPM. So 1,250 RPM, and this is the Blade Master 120, or the stock fan for the 212 Evo. So this is the NF A12 X25 at 1250. Not gonna lie, it's almost, I can actually hear the, I can hear it, but the power supply is a little louder than this thing, it's crazy. So this is just a stock NZXT, this is a case fan that comes in the S340 Elite. It's not, you know, it's close to 1250 as it can. It kind of jumps up and down, but it's, it's very much louder than the Noctua. Probably around the same as maybe the, the Blade Master. So here's the Noctua NF-F12 that we tested before. I'm gonna be honest with you, it doesn't sound that much quieter than this one or that one at 1250. Here's the Corsair HD120 at 1250. Now, it, that's interesting. So it does sound just as loud as all these other ones with the exception of that A12, but I would ex I would actually say that this, this pitch is not as harsh as, this is obviously the harshest one. These two are about equal. This one's not too bad. I mean, it is loud, but it's, it's like a softer, more mellow hum. So I just want to give you guys a taste of what each fan sounds like so you can hear it through the mic because I know the pitch of a fan really kind of plays into how horrible it is to listen to. And I can say just from sitting here that this one is actually way, way quieter than all the rest. Uh, I would say this one's the most harsh. It just sounds, it has like a ripping sound. This is, although loud, is, is more of a mellow hum and these two are about the same, these, these, these two. Okay, so everything's set up now that we're gonna measure the DB with my little iPhone here. Uh, the fans are gonna be placed in the same spot. Phone's not gonna move. We're just gonna see what they all sound like at 1250. So first fan up is the NFF12. First we need to find out what the room's average or what the normal just ambient sound is. So we'll reset this and not talk for a minute. Right around 37.5 was what we're gonna call it. So that's what the room's sound level is. And now let's put all the fans on and see where they land. Call it 
Oh, that 48.2. So everything is set up for testing and here is, here's the plan. So uh, I have my i5 2500K overclocked to 4.9 gigahertz. We're gonna run it with that overclock with the 212 Evo on it for 15 minutes on Prime 95 and we're gonna record the temperature that each fan is able to maintain on the CPU package. Uh, use, we're just gonna use the standard brackets that come with the 212 Evo. Every fan on there, 1250 RPMs, 15 minutes later, temperature. And then we're gonna make sure to note the ambient, right now ambient temperature is 23.1 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna just note the delta that each fan is able to maintain at 1250. Then I'm gonna run all the tests again. So 15 more minutes on Prime 95 with every fan allowed to run at its max RPM and we're gonna see what the delta is there. So it's gonna take a minute, but it's gonna be worth it. So stick around, I'll let you know how each fan did. So after all that testing, where'd these all stack up? So let's start by talking about how they all did when they were spent at the same RPM. And I'm gonna give you their score as a, you know, the delta change over ambient in Celsius, of course. And we're gonna start with the HD 120 since I use this every day in my own computer. This one finished with a delta of 53.8. The NZXT finished with a delta of 54.1. The stock fan for the 212 Evo or like the Blade, Master Blade, whatever they call it, 120, finished with a delta of 54. The NF F12 finished with a delta of 52.9 and the NF A12 X25 finished with a delta of 54.4. So when it comes to them all running at the same RPM, they all cooled just about exactly the same. I would say within the percent or like within the margin of error, I could probably run the same test again. They might fluctuate a little bit, but they're all gonna finish pretty much exactly the same. I then ran the test again with every fan just allowed to run full out at its max speed. And we'll start down here with the Corsair HD 120. And this finished with a Delta 50.7. The NZXT finished with a Delta 54.1 again. The Blade Master Master Blade 120 finished with a Delta 48.8. The NF F12 finished with a delta of 50.8 and the NF A12 X25 finished with a delta of 49.4. And again, they finished exactly like you'd expect. The two fastest spinning fans did the best. The second fastest spinning fan did second best and these two were pretty much even, maybe this one a little better. So after all that testing and messing around, do I think a fan is still just a fan? Well, I will, I will say this, if we took this away, where we're just, that doesn't exist right now, then yes, these all do exactly how you would expect. This one does the best because it spins the fastest and then it just kind of trickles down. This one's not any, you know, it's not exceptionally quiet. It doesn't perform exceptionally well. It's just like all the rest of them. But things change when you add in, when you add in this guy because y you guys heard it. I mean, I was holding it up, trying to listen to it and I could hear that thing over this thing and this was right by my head. And you know, you consider that these two fans spin at like the same speed and this sounds like a bunch of angry bees in a windstorm. And this sounds like nothing. Uh, there's something to be said about that. So you, you can't deny that this fan is very, very, very quiet. I mean, the, even the numbers. I mean, they're all run at the same RPM. This one is not just a little bit quieter. It's like a lot, like five decibels quieter than the next one to it. So there's something to be said about it. I can't, I can't deny it. I mean, is it ugly? I mean, it's not as ugly. I like, I like the blade design, but the color is just, just not for me. But if you're thinking in black and white, then there's no denying that this is the best performing fan out of all of them, simply because it, it's one of the best cooling fans and it does it without making a bunch of noise. If you wanna build a system and you wanna just build it and you want something to do what it's supposed to do and be quiet about it, and you're gonna put it off in the corner and not think about it, then you can't beat this one. When it comes to performance and silence, this one, it's hands down the best of the bunch. I just wish it wasn't beige. But thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you can think of a fan that maybe would perform better than the NF A12 X25, let me know. Maybe I can get one of them, test it out. But when it comes to performance, I don't think you're gonna beat this one. I mean, maybe we can make it look a little better. But thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button, get subscribed, and we'll see you in the next video.